It's March 15, 2008, and in today's space update, the newest global positioning system satellite was successfully launched early this morning aboard a United Launch Alliance Delta II rocket from Space Launch Complex 17A at Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. We have liftoff. Liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta II rocket carrying GPS. Despite weather concerns and rain that moved through the launch area during the final hours of the countdown, the launch occurred on time at 2.10 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time on March 15th. The Delta rocket placed the GPS, GPS spacecraft in orbit 68 minutes later. Weather had been a concern all day. The forecast earlier in the day called for a 40% chance that weather conditions would prohibit launch. In fact, up to 90 minutes before launch time, rain was falling around Cape Canaveral. In the final hour of the countdown, however, the clouds parted and by launch time the skies were mostly clear, with the moon and stars clearly visible. The clear skies provided the perfect conditions for a spectacular launch of the 332nd Delta rocket in the 48-year history of the venerable launch vehicle. The 80th successful Delta II launch in a row placed the 58th Global Positioning System satellite into orbit. GPS-2R19 is the 19th Block M spacecraft and the 6th upgraded version providing greater accuracy for civilian users and enhanced security for the U.S. military and government. At third stage separation, 68 minutes after liftoff, the two and a half ton GPS satellite was in an orbit 11,000 miles high at its highest and 104 miles at its lowest point with an inclination of 40 degrees to the equator. A small rocket motor on the GPS will be fired in a few days to circular circularize the satellite's orbit at 11,000 miles and also increase its orbital inclination to 55 degrees so that the craft can join the rest of the GPS constellation. Designed to operate for 10 years, GPS satellites orbit the Earth every 12 hours, emitting continuous navigation signals. With the proper equipment, users can receive these signals to calculate time, location, and velocity. In addition to its military use, GPS satellites provide directional assistance to civilian users around the world. And that's today's space update for March 15, 2008. For more space news, visit the Spacearium at www.spacearium.com or spaceflightnews.net. Thank you for watching.